Gotland, older spellings include Gotland or Gothland, Gutland in the local language Gutnish, is a province, county, municipality, and diocese of Sweden. It is Sweden's largest island. The island of Gotland and the other areas of the province of Gotland make up less than 1% of Sweden's total land area. The province includes the small islands of Vajenra Paragraf and Gotska Sanda Paragraf N to the north, as well as the even smaller Karlsa Paragraf Islands to the west. The population is 57,221, of which about 23,600 live in Visby, the main town. The island's main sources of income are agriculture along with food processing, tourism, IT solutions, design and some heavy industry such as concrete production from locally mined limestone. History A DNA study conducted on the 5,000-year-old skeletal remains of three Middle Neolithic seal hunters from Gotland showed that they were related to modern-day Finns. A farmer from Var currency Sturga paragraphed land on the mainland was found to be closer related to modern-day Mediterraneans. This is consistent with the spread of agricultural peoples from the Middle East at about that time. The island is the home of the Guts, and sites such as AJVIDE show that it has been occupied since prehistory. Early on, Gotland became a commercial centre and the town of Visby was the most important Hanseatic city in the Baltic Sea. In late medieval times, the island had 20 district courts, each represented by its elected judge at the island Ting, called Landsting. New laws were decided at the Landsting, which also took other decisions regarding the island as a whole. Among medieval Scandinavian accounts discussing or mentioning Gotland are Gutta and the more legendary Hversunorigabigdist and Orkneyinga saga. Orkneyinga saga was written around 1200 CE by an unknown Icelandic author. The Hversu account is only known to have survived in one single copy in Icelandic Flatu K from 1387 CE, but may have been written earlier. According to Orkneyinga saga, Norwegian rulers were descendants of King Fornjakubt T who reigned over Gotland, which we now know as Finland and Kvinland. The Hversu account states that a descendant of Fornjakubt T ruled over Gothland, Kvinland, and Finland. Gutajaga contains legends of how the island was settled by Ilo and populated by his descendants. It also tells that a third of the population had to emigrate and settle in southern Europe, a tradition associated with the migration of the Goths, whose name has the same origin as Guts, the native name of the people of the island. It later tells that the Guts voluntarily submitted to the King of Sweden and asserts that the submission was based on mutual agreement, and notes the duties and obligations of the Swedish King and Bishop in relationship to Gotland. According to some historians it is therefore not only an effort to write down the history of Gotland, but also an effort to assert Gotland's independence from Sweden. It gives a where Straben is the name of the man who arranged the mutually beneficial agreement with the King of Sweden. The event would have taken place before the end of the 9th century, when Wolf Stanif had by reported that the island was subject to the Swedes. The discovery of Muscovy a Euro, then, after the land of the Burgundians, we had on our left the lands that have been called from the earliest times Blekinge, and Moor, and Eowland, and Gotland, all which territory is subject to the Swins. And we own Odland was all the way on our right, as far as Waselmouth. The region is considered by some historians to be the original homeland of the Goths. The city of Visby and rest of the island were governed separately, and a civil war caused by conflicts between the German merchants in Visby and the peasants they traded with in the countryside had to be put down by King Magnus III of Sweden in 1288. In 1361, Waldemar Atadag of Denmark invaded the island. The Vittel brothers occupied the island in 1394 to set up a stronghold as a headquarters of their own in Visby. At last, Gotland became a fiefdom of the Teutonic Knights, awarded to them on the condition that they expel the piratical Vittel brothers from their fortified sanctuary. An invading army of Teutonic Knights conquered the island in 1398, destroying Visby and driving the Vittel brothers from Gotland. In 1409 Grand Master Ulrich von Jungingen of the Teutonic Knights guaranteed peace with the Kalmar Union of Scandinavia by selling the island of Gotland to Queen Margaret of Denmark, Norway and Sweden. 
The number of Arab dirhams discovered on the island of Gotland alone is astoundingly high. In the various hoards located around the island, there are more of these silver coins than at any other site in western Eurasia. The total sum is almost as great as the number that has been unearthed in the entire Muslim world. These coins moved north through trade between Rus merchants and the Abbasid Caliphate, along the Silver Fur Road, and the money made by Scandinavian merchants would help northern Europe, especially Viking Scandinavia and the Carolingian Empire, as major commercial centers for the next several centuries. The Beer Azan runestone, discovered in 1905 in Ukraine, was made by a Varangian trader named Granny in memory of his business partner Karl. It is assumed that they were from Gotland. The Ma currency Sturm chest, an important artifact from the Viking Age, was found in Gotland. The authority of the Landsting was successively eroded after the island was occupied by the Teutonic Order, then sold to Eric of Pomerania and after 1449 ruled by Danish governors. In late medieval times, the ting consisted of twelve representatives for the farmers, freeholders or tenants. Since the Treaty of Bra paragraph MSEBRO in 1645, the island has remained under Swedish rule. Spilling's Treasure On 16 July 1999, the world's largest Viking silver treasure, the Spilling's Treasure, was found in a field at Spilling's northwest of Slight. The silver treasure was divided into two parts weighing a total of 67 a kg and consisted mostly of coins, about 14,000, from foreign countries, mostly Islamic. It also contained about 20 a kg of bronze objects along with numerous everyday objects such as nails, glass beads, parts of tools, pottery, iron bands and clasps. The treasure was found by using a metal detector, and the finder's fee, given to the farmer who owned the land, was over two million crowns. The treasure was found almost by accident while filming a news report for TV4 about illegal treasure hunting on Gotland. Administration The traditional provinces of Sweden serve no administrative or political purposes today, but are historical and cultural entities. In the case of Gotland, however, due to its insular position, the administrative county, Gotland County, and the municipality, Gotland Municipality, both cover the same territory as the province. Furthermore, the Diocese of Fisby is also congruent with the province. Sockens, Gotland is traditionally divided into 92 Sockens. Heraldry Gotland was granted its arms in about 1560. The coat of arms is represented with a ducal coronet. Blazon, Azura Ram State and Argent armed or holding on a cross staff of the same Abanic Yules bordered and with five tails of the third. The county was granted the same coat of arms in 1936. The municipality, created in 1971, uses the same picture, but with other tinctures. The Gotlandic flag displays the Gotlandic coat of arms, white on red ground, known from the 13th century in the shape of the seal of the Gutnish Republic with a proud ram. It reads, Guthensis signo Xpista signator in agno. Geography Gotland is Sweden's largest island, and it is the largest island fully encompassed by the Baltic Sea. With its total area of 3,183.7 square kilometres, the island of Gotland and the other areas of the province of Gotland make up 0.8% of Sweden's total land area. The province includes the small islands of Vajenra Paragraph and Gotska Sanda Paragraph N to the north, as well as the Karlsa Paragraph Islands, to the west which are even smaller. The island of Gotland has an area of 2,994 akmar squared, whereas the province has 3,183.7 akmar squared, 3,151 akmar squared of land excluding the lakes and rivers. The population is 57,221, of which about 23,600 live in Visby, the seat of the municipality as well as the capital of the county. About two-fifths of the island's population live in Visby. Gotland is located about 90 km east of the Swedish mainland and about 130 km from the Baltic states, Latvia being the nearest. Gotland is the name of the main island, but the adjacent islands are generally considered part of Gotland and the Gotlandic culture, Farillon, Vajenra paragraph, Gotska Sander paragraph N, 
the National Park of Sweden, the Karlsa Paragraph Islands, Laos Homa, Uthaman, Estiganshum, there are several shallow lakes located near shores of the island. The biggest is Lake Bar Currency Stitra Currency SK, located near Flaringe in the northern part of Gotland. Gotland contains many popular beaches, such as Tofta Strand, and Hunfriar Strand. The highest point of the island is LOJSTA Head which stands 82 m above sea level. Geology Gotland is made up of a sequence of sedimentary rocks of a Silurian age, dipping to the southeast. The main Silurian succession of limestones and shales comprises 13 units spanning 200 a Euro 500 am of stratigraphic thickness, being thickest in the south, and overlays a 75 to 125 m thick Ordovician sequence. It was deposited in a shallow, hot and salty sea, on the edge of an equatorial continent. The water depth never exceeded 175 a Euro 200 am, and shallowed over time as biohem detritus, and terrestrial sediments, filled the basin. Reef growth started in the Landovery, when the sea was 50 a Euro 100 am deep, and reefs continued to dominate the sedimentary record. Some sandstones are present in the youngest rocks towards the south of the island, which represent sandbars deposited very close to the shoreline. The lime rocks have been weathered into characteristic karstic rock formations known as rocks. Fossils, mainly of rugose corals and brachiopods, are abundant throughout the island. Paleo sea stacks are preserved in places. Economy The island's main sources of income are agriculture along with food processing, tourism, IT solutions, design and some heavy industry such as concrete production from locally mined limestone. Most of Gotland's economy is based on small-scale production. In 2012 there were over 7,500 registered companies on Gotland 1,500 of these had more than one employee. Tourism, the first modern-day tourists came to Gotland during the 19th century and were known as bathers. Gotland became very popular with socialites at the time through Princess Eugenie who lived in Var Currency Stahed, in the west part of the island from the 1860s. When a new law ensuring two weeks vacation for all employees in Sweden was passed in 1938, camping became a popular pastime among the Swedes, and in 1955, Gotland was visited by 80,000 people. In the 1970s mostly young people were attracted to Gotland. Since 2010 the island has become a more versatile vacation spot visited by people from all over the world, in all manner of ways. Gotland is one of Sweden's most noted tourist destinations. In 2001 it was the fifth largest tourist destination in Sweden based on the total number of guest nights. Gotland is usually the part of Sweden which receives the most hours of sunlight during a year with Visby statistically the location with the most sunshine in Sweden. In 2007 approximately 750,000 people visited Gotland. In 1996, for the first time, Ferries between Gotland and mainland Sweden carried more than 1 million passengers in a year. In 2007, the number of passengers exceeded 1.5 million. In 2012, the ferries had 1,590,271 passengers and the airlines 327,255 passengers. Cruise ships and new pier. The main port of call on Gotland is Visby. The city is visited by a number of cruise ships every year. About 40 cruise lines frequent the Baltic Sea with Visby as one of their destinations. In 2005, 147 ships docked at Visby, in 2010 the number was 69. In 2014, 62 ships are scheduled to visit Visby. The decrease in visiting ships is due to the fact that the modern cruise ships are too large to enter Visby Harbour. Ships must anchor a fair distance from shore whereupon passengers are shuttled to shore in small boats, which is not possible during bad weather. In 2007, the first proposition for building a new pier at Visby Harbour, large enough to serve the modern cruise ships, was made. In 2011, the matter of the new pier was discussed in the Riksdag and in 2012 research and planning for the pier began. In January 2014 a letter of intent for building a new cruise pier in Visby Harbour was signed by Region Gotland and Copenhagen Malmö Paragraph Port. 
the pier is scheduled to be finished in 2018. The estimated cost is 250 million crowns. Culture A number of stones with grooves exist on Gotland. Archaeologists interpret these grooves as traces of an unknown industrial process in the High Middle Ages. There are approximately 3,700 grinding grooves, of which about 750 occur in the solid limestone outcrop and the rest in other rock formations. The latter often consist of hard rocks such as granite or gneiss, but also soft rocks such as sandstone occur. Grinding grooves are also found in Skarjeni, in southern Sweden and in Finland. Astronomer Gar Paragraph ran in Reeks and dates a number of these grinding grooves to the Stone Age, from c. 3300 BCE to c. 2000 BCE, based on astronomical alignments, although his methodology has been heavily criticized. The medieval town of Visby has been entered as a site of the UNESCO World Heritage Program. An impressive feature of Visby is the fortress wall that surrounds the old city, dating from the 13th century. The inhabitants of Gotland traditionally spoke their own language, known as Gutnish. Today, however, they have adapted a dialect of Swedish that is known as Gotla currency NDSKA. In the 13th century, a work containing the laws of the island, called the Gotlandic Law, was published in the ancient Gutnish language. Gotland is famous for its 94 medieval churches, most of which are restored and in active use. These churches exhibit two major styles of architecture, Romanesque and Gothic. The older churches were constructed in the Romanesque style from 1150 to 1250. The newer churches were constructed in the Gothic architectural style that prevailed from about 1250 to 1400. The oldest painting inside one of the churches on Gotland stretches as far back in time as the 12th century. Traditional games of skill like cub, par currency RK, and Vapa played on Gotland. They are part of what has become called Gutniskalika, and are performed preferably on the Midsummer's Eve celebration on the island, but also throughout the summer months. The games have widespread renown. Some of them are played by people as far away as in the United States. The knotwork design subsequently named the Vorknut has the most attested historic instances on picture stones in Gotland which include being on both the Stora Hammers 1 and the Tar Currency in Jilgien RDA stones. Gotland also has a rich heritage of folklore, including myths about the Bison, De Smar under Geordie, Herberg Scubbin and the Martibo Lights. Gotland gives its name to the traditional farmhouse beer Gotland Stricker, a turbid beer with much in common with Finnish Sati, and related beers from the Baltic states. Notable Gotlanders Christopher Polam, the father of Swedish mechanical physics, born in Visby, also called the Archimedes of the North, and Mar Bergman, film director, lived on Far Yen Ra Paragraph, the small island directly north of Gotland Island, Ha Yen Kan Lube, former ice hockey player in the NHL, Lennart Eriksson, also known as Oda, former punk star from Eber Gra Paragraph N, moved to Gotland soon after he left the band in 1982. Susanne Alfungren, singer, famous in Sweden during the 1980s, grave, death metal band from Visby, Thomas Le Paragraph EKVIST, cyclist from Visby, occasionally referred to by his nickname Gotland, Teresa Anderson, singer musician, currently living working in the US, Jar Paragraph DIS Pettersson, actress, Mats Carlson, world's first professor of pharmacometrics, Tove Aidfelt. Actress, Aina and Lund, composer, Dukes and Duchesses of Gotland, Prince Oscar 1859 a Euro 1888, Princess Leonor 2014 a Euro, sports events. Gotland competes in the Biennial Island Games, which it hosted in 1999. Gotland runs sailing events starting at Stockholm, around the island of Gotland and back. Gotland Grand National is an annual enduro race on Gotland. GGN is a part of the Swedish Enduro Classic Ern. GNN is the world's largest enduro race. Star Yen Gasplin are the annual games for Gotland exports. The games are held during five days each summer at Star Yen Gar. The games are unofficially called the Gotland Olympic Games. Some of the sports at the Star Yen Gasplin are par currency RK, Vapa and Kaba Atos. Sports organizations, in 2012. 
there were 171 registered sports organisations on Gotland. Gotland has two senior women's sport teams playing in the first tiers, basketball team Visby Ladies Basket Club and floorball team Enda IF. Visby Ladies won the Swedish Championship in 2005. Football in the province is administered by Gotlands Football for paragraph RBUND. The leading football club is FC Gut, playing in the fourth tier league Division 2 as of 2014. In popular culture, the Longships, or Red Orm, a best-selling Swedish novel written by Franz Gunnar Bengtsson, contains a vivid description of Gotland in the Viking Age. A section of the book is devoted to a Viking ship setting out to Russia, stopping on its way at Gotland and engaging a pilot from the island who plays an important part in their voyage. Gotlanders of the Viking era are depicted as city people, more sophisticated and cosmopolitan than other Scandinavians of their time, and proud of their knowledge and skills. The crime novels of Mary Jungstadt, featuring Detective Superintendent Anders Neuters, are set on Gotland. In the Battlefield Vietnam video game modification Invasion Gotland, the Soviet Army invades Gotland in 1977. For the 1989 Studio Ghibli film, Key's Delivery Service, by Hayao Miyazaki, he and other illustrators spent time in Gotland in preparation for animation. For the 2013 historical drama Vikings, we learn in season 2 that Ragnar Lodbrok's village is in Gotland and he becomes the jewel there. Astronomy A number of asteroids in the main belt are named after places on Gotland. The places are vividly described in NASA's JPL small body database in connection to each asteroid. See also References Further reading there are over 8,700 titles about Gotland in the National Library of Sweden online database LIC. About 560 of the books are in English. See LIC. External links, Gotland, Facts and Statistics 2013, PDF, Gotland County. Official portal for Gotland County, Gotland Administrative Portal, Swedish Radio on Gotland, P4, Portal on Gotland with detailed facts about everything on the island, Commercial Portal on Gotland, Official Gotland Tourist Association, Famous Footprints, Travelling on Gotland, Portal for Eastern Gotland a Euro Westergunslandit, Portal for Eastern Gotland a Euro Lejugan, Gotland, Interactive Map of Gotland, a Gotland. New International Encyclopedia 1905A.